The Kansas Department of Labor presents a guide to filing your quarterly wage report and unemployment tax return. This will make filing each quarter a breeze. Whether you paid wages or had no wages in a quarter, you must file your quarterly wage report and unemployment tax return the month following the end of the quarter. Let's begin with the information that you'll need before starting the online filing process. You'll need to have all employees' names, social security numbers, and gross wages paid in the quarter you are filing. In addition, you will need your employer's unemployment tax account or serial number and four-digit PIN, which is located on your KCNS 050 Notice of Establishment Letter first received when your unemployment tax account was set up. Start by accessing us online at www.kansasemployer.gov. Click on Employer Login if you already have a username and password set up. If you have not applied online before, please click on Create a Username and Password. After logging in, you will be taken to a What Would You Like to Do page. This page allows the employer to maintain account information, such as updating addresses and phone numbers, reporting new hires, filing quarterly wage report and unemployment tax returns, and making online unemployment tax payments. To file your quarterly wage report and unemployment tax return, you would select the button for File a Quarterly Wage Report. This includes TPAs and PEOs. If you paid no wages in a quarter, you would select the button for File a $0 No Wages Quarterly Wage Report. Once you select to file, it will ask for your unemployment account or serial number and PIN. You then will have to select the quarter you want to file for. If the quarter is not an option, that means it has already been filed. If your business is closing or you will no longer be filing quarterly reports and tax returns, check the box indicating, this is my last report. Do not check this box if your business will continue to file quarterly reports and tax returns. After selecting the quarter, it will take you to a grid to fill in each employee by social security number, name, and gross wages paid in that quarter. Note that once you file online, the employee's information will pre-populate for each quarter thereafter, only requesting you to fill in the gross totals each time and add any new employees. At the bottom of the grid, it will ask you to report the number of employees who worked for you each month. This must be filled in before you're able to move on. Calculate Totals is the next button you will want to select once each employee has been recorded. Remember that the Save As will only save as a draft and is not completing your filing. Once you have calculated totals, you have made it to the final step and all that is left is to click the small box that you do certify the information is correct and enter a valid email address. It is important that the email address you enter is correct because this is where the confirmation will be sent. Then click Submit. If you only click Save as a Draft, it will simply just do that and will not submit your quarterly wage report. After submitting, the next screen will be the Payment Voucher. We strongly encourage you to click in the middle of the voucher for the payment online. This will make your payment through a secured electronic check or credit card transaction. And that is how you successfully filed your quarterly wage report and unemployment tax return with payment. We hope this information helps you with filing your quarterly returns. If you have any further questions, please go to www.kansasemployer.gov to review the frequently asked questions. Thank you for watching, and remember, we are here to assist you throughout this process.